and I'm back again in a new place. Yeah, I'm kind of experimenting with where to film these vlogs and uh, trying to find a good place. But uh, I'm not sure if I found one yet. Like, like this is my front door right here and then closet behind me and then on the other side of this wall is my kitchenette. So yeah, yeah. Uh, me living in a, a small apartment doesn't uh, leave, leave much room uh, for me to put to uh, to have all my stuff and to also have a space uh, where I can film videos without having to uh, move my stuff. So yeah, for this vlog, I uh, wanted to talk about how I feel about re-entering the real world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this is my last video I made about me officially being fully vaccinated and then I kind of made a joke about now I am able to uh, hang out uh, with people who are also fully vaccinated uh, as long as we're outside in a small group. Yeah, but then, you know, right after I uploaded the video, then everything changes. And now, I guess, fully vaccinated people can pretty much do almost anything uh, without a mask, uh, inside and outside, which, yeah, it seems a little weird that they went from, you can hang out in a small group outside with other fully vaccinated people uh, without face masks on to do almost anything, anywhere without a face mask. Yeah, and yeah, and I, I, I read that it's because there was more studies done and they got back the results, which showed that vaccinated people were uh, a lot more safe than originally thought, but it just still seems really weird. They didn't do it like step by step. It's like I, I would have thought they would have did, they would have said fully vaccinated people can now hang out in bigger groups outside without masks and uh, in side was small groups and then hang out with larger groups inside and you don't need a mask outside and you know on and on until we get to you can go fully vaccinated people can go maskless almost anywhere now that, that yeah that's how i die would go step by step incremental i think but yeah but so that didn't happen and now uh here we are uh but but i, I still don't really feel comfortable about just going maskless even though 
I don't really have anything to do. <laughs> I, I still don't feel comfortable. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, but one thing I am looking forward to doing, doing again is going to movie theaters and watching movies. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of uh, movies that were supposed to come out in 2020 that I wanted to see and didn't get a chance to see them in the theater at all and and some of them I watched at home so so yeah yeah I'm uh, excited to get back into the theater but I just don't really feel like sitting in a big room for two-ish hours uh, with other people uh, who aren't wearing face masks. And uh, recently I, I've actually been uh, double masking and uh, I have uh, one of those cloth masks that has a pouch that you can put in uh, a, a, like either another surgical face mask or or uh, some other cloth that can act like another mask and yeah so yeah I've been wearing two masks lately just because yeah I heard uh, about all these uh, COVID variants that are popping up uh, and are more dangerous than the original COVID uh, virus. So, yeah, so yeah, I think I'll probably have to go back to wearing single mask before I'll be comfortable with out a uh, face mask and yeah and then uh, right after they made that big announcement about vaccinated people that, that they don't need to wear a face mask anymore I hear uh, stories about uh, the New York Yankees team getting COVID uh, when they were fully vaccinated and uh, the, the celebrity Bill Maher uh, also getting COVID uh, test, testing positive uh, despite him being fully vaccinated too which which yeah yeah I I did know it was possible to get uh, the virus even after uh, you've been fully vaccinated uh, but the, the vaccine decreases your chance of getting it by yeah I think up to 95 percent and even if you do get it then you're more likely to not die from it or be hospitalized uh, and your case is more likely to be a asymptomatic which uh, I think all of the New York Yankee ball players were asymptomatic and so was Bill Maher you know the CDC announcing vaccinated people can go maskless and then stories about people who are fully vaccinated getting COVID uh, the timing was not very good <laughs> and yeah and also another thing is uh, herd and immunity uh, uh, we, there needs to be a certain percentage of people who uh, <clears throat> are vaccinated 
and then that will protect people who can't get the vaccine, like they're too young or they have a rare allergic reaction to vaccines. And right now, uh, I don't think the United States is close to getting to that number, which is estimated to be, I think 75 to 80% of the population. Uh, I'm not sure if that takes into account of uh, kids 12 and under who can't get the vaccine. But, but yeah, we're not at that number yet. And, and in my state of home, but no, <laughs> in my home state of Idaho, yes, there we go. Yeah, the percentage of people who are vaccinated in Idaho is in the bottom five. Which, yeah, sure doesn't help and doesn't make me want to go out uh, of my house without a face mask on. Uh, right now, I think the only change I've made is that I now ride my bike without a face mask. Uh, like last year, when I would go out riding my bike, I would have my face mask, like wear it underneath my chin, and then, and then if I saw that I was gonna come within six feet of someone else, I would pull up my face mask. But now that I'm fully vaccinated, I uh, don't do that anymore. Which it's. It's about the only thing I'm comfortable with, with changing right now. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe when either the United States gets to herd immunity or Idaho vaccinates, well, I, I wanna say they vaccinate twice as many people uh, as has been fully vaccinated now, then maybe I'll be comfortable going out without any face mask whatsoever. Yeah, because I know COVID-19 isn't gonna go extinct. I guess, or, or be, be eradicated uh, anytime soon. But, you know, I, I don't want to go back to how things were in, in 2020. So yeah, so yeah, that's why I got vaccinated. And, and I hope enough people also get vaccinated. So yeah. Yeah, and until that day comes, um, probably not gonna make very many changes to uh, my day, daily life. And, and just continue wearing a face mask uh, when I'm outside my house or, or except at my parents' house, because uh, I didn't wear a face mask when I was uh, over with them because you know, we all were being very careful and uh, like o obeying all the guidelines and wear wearing face masks whenever uh, we were around other people uh, uh, outside of our our homes so yeah th yeah th didn't wear 
a, a face mask at their house, which which was about the only place they didn't wear one. And so yeah, I don't think things are really going to change for me anytime soon with me wearing uh, a face mask. Uh, but as long as uh, people still get vaccinated and uh, new cases of COVID keep going down, then, then I'll start to get more comfortable and then, then people can see this face outside of my house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, I guess that's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, until next time, goodbye.